Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Juan from Studio JFX and Perfecto 3D. Uh, another quick video here. Um, I've decided to make this guy look a little bit younger. This guy is supposed to be me. And that's actually his eyebrow. And what's this? There we go. Um, he still doesn't look young enough. So... I'm going to go over here to material and look for his face, his head. There we go. And down here, we're going to launch texture. Now, you have to have this linked up with um, like Photoshop or whatever you're using. I'm using Affinity Designer. Um, I prefer owning. Actually, it's Affinity uh, photo but I also have affinity designer I actually like owning my programs I don't why do I want to pay for a subscription of $29.99 a month when I could buy a program that works exactly the way Photoshop does so yeah affinity photo and affinity designer I highly recommend so this is what I'm going to do. Okay. I am going to get the stamp. And I'm going to make that a little bigger, actually. Flow, opacity, largeness. Yeah, a little bigger. Yeah, see how big it got? Okay, so maybe not that big. Let's see. So I tap over here. And I'm able to... Let me make it a little smaller over here. A little smaller. Now, do I want to undo? Okay. Um, let me see right here. All right, let's leave it like that. And maybe we'll just clip this down a little bit over here. Yeah, and I got to get rid of all this. Make this bigger. Let me just go ahead and get it done. I'll leave this little bit right there. keep an eye as I'm doing this
Okay, so this looks a little funky, but I might have to Um, let's give it a test run. Let's see. Okay. So let's save that. Go back to CC3. Chin looks a little funky there. Um, let's go to, where's the chin? In with you know the best I could say is just jump in start moving stuff chin height okay that kind of works I kind of like that okay right here looks a little weird so I'm gonna go back to the drawing to the uh, affinity photo so that would be probably here. Let me see. Okay, let's go back to CC3. Okay, let's flip them around a little. Okay, that don't look too, too bad. Don't look too, too bad. It's a little dark right there, right here. Um, let's go back to a photo. That would probably be right here. I'm actually getting rid of this whole chin line. Hmm. Okay, let's save. And we'll go back to CC3. Okay, that don't look too, too bad. Looks a little crooked, huh? Um, let me see here. Oh, there you go. That kind of helped a little bit. Oh, let me mess around with a couple more of these. <laughs> Cliff. Don't want a cliff. Oh, look at that. Okay. Don't want to make it sharp. Let's go negative here. Let's go negative 50. Oh, that's weird. Wow. Let's go negative 25. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Chin with right. That'll be on this side. So let's mess with it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now let's go the other way with the with the left. 
right here. Okay, I can uh, do that. Yeah. Okay, now I think there's a way to. What if I give myself a double chin? <laughs> Crazy. Width, height. Okay, so you know what? I'm kind of good with that. I made my, I made it look made him look younger. Mm, this little thing right there, a little darkness around the eye. Shouldn't have that kind of stuff at fourteen. So I kind of want to get rid of this too, but uh, yeah, we'll just leave it. We'll leave it. Fourteen years old. Um, okay, the eye. Go back to affinity. Right here, see it? Let's bring this down a little bit. A little bit bigger. Maybe too big. So you could imagine the possibilities. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can um, clean it up as much, I mean, so much. Okay, so got rid of the dark circle over here. Okay, and like right here, I could clean up this if I want to. Um, I can actually make the eyebrows darker and a little bit more defined. I can do all kinds of stuff, but I'm not going to go there right now. Let me save this. Let's go back to CC3. There we go. There you go. The, the dark circles are gone. Um, and this guy looks younger. The last little detail I would do would be uh, to edit mesh. I would select the character, go to Edit Mesh, and go to Sculpt right here in the uh, Attribute section. Go to Sculpt, and let me turn them a little bit here, and then I would grab the uh, Select button, and I would go here to Smooth, and smooth out the chin that might be too much let me undo that yeah you see that that's a lot let me redo so let's attempt that again. I would select the character, go to Edit Mesh, and I would go to Sculpt, and I would go to Smooth, and right here. Okay, let me just do a little bit, and that looks good. And we are now done with the young version of me. There you go. That's how you do that. Um, if you like this video, click like. The more likes I get when I do these things, the more videos I'll do. So um, click like, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.